All right, family. That aligning energy. Nine of cups. So this is about your heart's desire. Your wish, your dream. Ooh, underneath that's the seven of wands. Okay, and the nine of swords. Cappies, I swear. Consistently, I've seen the nine of swords come up in your reading. So you guys have literally a lot of stress. Please be sure to check your doctor. Not for, you know, depression or antidepressants, but more so just to make sure your blood pressure is good. Because with all that stress, you got to make sure your health is good. I know we just love Virgo season. But, you know, and that's really mainly about health. But I really feel like if you guys are going through so much stress right now, then it's really good to get somebody to make sure that your blood pressure, you know, you know all those areas in your life are good. Because when you're stressed out, you can really cause some, you know, you can really hurt yourself. But we're not talking about stress right now. We're talking about what you want. We're talking about what's in your heart, what you've been, you know, what you've been wishing on. Now the hangman coming up in your heart of the reader, reading here is really concerning to me because there is the challenge is a change of perspective. It's not necessarily waiting or being stuck in limbo. I mean, the challenge of it is to find a new perspective to get out of that situation, to get out of this 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 non-moving situation. Because nothing's progressing, nothing's moving forward. You can't move forward when the hangman comes up. Only when, only then, can you when when you get that new perspective, will things be able to progress. Which is what's crossing right at the moment is the six of cups. The thing. <laughs> Like, the thing that's keeping you guys from truly being able to find this new perspective, or perhaps this, you know, it, it'll be open to a new perspective, is the past. The past is standing in the way. Not that you haven't forgotten it, but perhaps maybe there's something to remember. Because the nine of, the six of cups is of, well, they're wonderful memories, they're sweet memories, they're happy memories, and I feel like, you know, Maybe there's something that, and it's because obviously, if this was a situation that, um, if this was a situation that you may not want to, you know, now there's a situation. Okay, what am I trying to say? When this kind of past comes up, there might be something here that you may need to see or remember from a different perspective. Maybe see something from someone else's point of view, or be open to the point of view of someone else if not your own, or the situation itself from a different perspective, like I was saying. Now, if this was the, now, if this was the three of swords, like I've been trying to say, I've been having a hard time talking, but if this was the three of swords, it will still not mean forget, but it would be more of forgiving and moving forward. This here is happy memories. So you don't need to forgive or to apologize or to, you know, release, you know, good stuff or good times. Maybe, and in some respects, in certain situations. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that maybe you're holding on to the fact that this is the only time you could ever have happiness, and which was in the past. That probably is something you may have to release. You may have to release. But the hangman isn't about releasing. It's about surrendering to a certain perspective, leaving behind an old process, an old thought process, an old way of seeing something, and surrendering to that truth, surrendering to this new truth. And this has potentially to do with the past. It's just affecting your manifestation, which is affect, affecting this nine of, cup, nine, of pet, nine of cups. Now, the nine of swords is, kind of came up three cards underneath the underlying energy, which can indicate the past as well. But so, for those of you that may have been stressed in the past, you may not be necessarily feeling it now. But I do get the sense that that may still have some small lingering effects, which means, and like, how do you mean? Well, because of the ten of wands that's underneath. The foundation and though this is this doesn't talk about stress this is very physical this is very exhausting and very burdensome okay now you know burdens can be stressful but this is ending of a cycle here leaving behind the stuff that was really too much to handle too much to deal with or even not worth the effort now the ten of wands does not mean that the situation that you were dealing with before wasn't worth the effort not at all but I am saying though that this was a situation where it became burdenous. It was became a lot more than you were maybe had even thought it could be. But you're able to take these wands to begin something new. Whatever it was in the burden, whatever whatever this burden was in the past, you've created. You know, I feel like you've crafted it to begin something new, to new to aspire to a new venture, a new passion, a new direction. And I like that you have more hope. 
in this for the star. Now the situation here is the challenge is to see things from new perspective, new perspective, releasing, you know, well, not releasing, surrendering this um, to the perspective we're having to do with the past. Perhaps, like I said before, if this was about you, like which I didn't, which I didn't, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said that, which was. This could be that you may believe that this is the only time you have happiness. I don't think it's the case. I feel like it's just truly, you know, this is truly opening yourself up to the potential of something new or something happening. Maybe regarding the past. Maybe regarding someone that you already know. Or maybe already regarding feelings that you may have had in the past that became, either became too much for you or just didn't work out. This Ace of Wands in the present now. This is the new beginning. That's the exciting part. You're starting something new, something fresh, something exciting, something that's emotionally driven. Something that truly screams Capricorn. You're the heart of Capricorn. Not just Capricorn. The heart of Capricorn. What does the Capricorn want? And this, perhaps this, maybe perhaps you're beginning something new with, with someone from the past. Or maybe the thing that's you know, really driving you is this is rekindling a firework between you and another person from the past. Because the Ace of Wands is a, can be seen as a card. Not always, right? And that's predominantly not the meaning of it. But you can always see, like, it's a candle that's pretty much already been around for some time. It exists. You just have to light that baby up and watch it burn. It'll just, you know, it's a torch. So, like, you know, torches can't be relit. And this is one of the things, right? It could be that this person is someone that you've been with before. And you may, may this, this new beginning it may have to do with this individual. But the surrendering portion, portion of it could be that, it could be, that, like I said, it has something to do with the past, perhaps a, a burden, being overburdened responsibilities and tasks. Maybe when you first had this connection, maybe a thought of relationships, when you had a relationship in the past, you were always burdened with other responsibilities and other tasks that perhaps you really didn't necessarily enjoy anymore. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that there is this, you know, there was just, it was just, there was a lot going on at the end of the day. You felt burdened. Perhaps the relationship itself was burdened. There's something here that caused a great deal of weight on yourself. And maybe you felt like you took on too much that made the situation feel like it wasn't possible. But now you can come in with a new wand, with a new drive, with a new action, set of action, uh, set of dri you know, drive and, and, and uh, oomph, I guess. Because how you see your future is beautiful. It's the star. It's a new beginning. And a new beginning with hope and dreams and, and healing of the, of the past. Oh, the healing of what's happened, the healing period. I like this energy a lot, especially because, one, this is the card for Aquarius. You know I tease you in Aquarius about being twin flames or potential twin flames or karmic relationships or what, or being a Ruben or karmic relationship or soulmates or what have you. I love teasing you both. But all, all in all, seriousness and heart to heart from you and I, this is a beautiful thing to have in the future. Whether this is connecting back from the past, whether this is, you know, believing and trying and recognizing that you can have something as beautiful as as what whatever was whatever it was in the past that you may felt that was a burden in the moment, or even some more so that you can have it better. You can have something that feels way more amazing than the first time. I don't think it ever gets old. And I feel like you believe it too with your goal and ambition coming up. This is the creator. This is someone that manifests and builds something. And she's, she's creative, man. She's amazing when it comes to her ideas and her, the things that she wants to aspire to create. I mean, look at this garden, right? It's not just wheat and a forest, a lavish forest behind her, but she's got a freaking stream, man. Like nobody, I, I was looking at this card one of the other day and I like, I've been doing this here for so long, but to see the stream there, it's just like, of course, I forgot there was a stream in there. I actually, in some, I, actually, I was questioning myself. I'm like, did I ever realize that she had a stream back there? The whole point of it all is that she has everything she's ever wanted because she made it happen. 
she's the creator of it. The emperor is the one that actually pretty much probably made it all happen because he, he he can make plans and execute. She's more of the ideas, the abstract, the dreamer, the artiste. And you and everyone and you especially have, are artistic at heart. Even though you may not draw, even though you may not do sculptures, if you don't make music, you don't have to do any of those basic artsy things to be very artistic. You can use your practicality in such magnificent, beautiful, and artistic ways. It's just tapping into that creativity that's what's that's that's the most important. And I feel like that's the thing. Maybe this is about seeing your situation from a different perspective regarding how you felt about yourself, about taking care of yourself, maybe. It could also be, because the Empress is all, talks about taking care of the self. I don't think this is about codependency, but I do maybe feel like this has to do with creation. Maybe before, maybe you're having second thoughts about having children. Maybe you have a single thought about having babies. It's very interesting, though, that kind of concept, because you have the Queen of Cups coming up in the external energy. Now, she's she is very, she is very motherly in itself. This is a card for cancer, anyway. This is your opposite sign. And I feel like this is a new beginning in love. This is a new beginning in your seventh house. Of course, it's going to be a new beginning in your seventh house. By like November, Cancer is going to be on your seventh house. You're going to be the south node with with Pluto and Saturn just chilling in there. It's gonna it's gonna be it's pretty it's pretty it's gonna be kind of rough. I get that, but one of the things is that you're ready to take on a new path. It's gonna be what like when I say it's gonna be rough. I mean like it's there's gonna be a lot of karmic challenges because Saturn is gonna be there. And there's going to be a lot of growth that you're going to get in that one year of Cancer being in the house. Being in, being well, one year of the North Node being in Cancer. You're going, to, you're going to develop as an individual. But we're not there yet. We're here in the present. We're here in the now. What we're focusing on right now is, well, all of us moving into the season of Libra. And the, and the Queen of Cups coming up. You are starting a new beginning of love. But you already know what's in your cup. This could also be someone else. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I don't think it's necessarily a water sign. Not for everyone, anyway. Because you you have Taurus here. Aquarius. you got a lot of cards that would indicate otherwise. So there's not just water signs that are coming up. So for those of you that are watching for a water sign, this is your person. If so, those of you that don't have anyone in your life, this is you. Because you have to be loved before you can attract love. And I feel like that's the thing. You know what you love. I feel like you guys are becoming, be, you can becoming more aware of how you love yourself and manifesting what it is that you want. And most importantly, you know what's in your cup. You know what you want. The Nine of Cups. But as perhaps maybe it's that, that that new perspective that's needed here to be able to go and get it. Don't let the past keep you from going after your dream. Let the past be the influence and the drive to get you there. Now the outcome is very interesting. You have the Ten of Swords. But I don't think it's bad. It may be something that it ends abruptly. And very like probably harshly, but the good thing is, is that it ends, and it's not, and it's 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 done. It's it's not coming back up. The worst is over. You can't get any lower than this, family. And I feel like this may be your situation, right? It could be that there's somebody around you right now, or there's some uh, there's just something that's going on at the moment. With this non-movement energy whatsoever, the stagnancy, but that's going to end soon. Because I feel like you're getting closer and closer to recognizing what this perspective is. And it's going to be different for every one of you Capricorns out there watching this. So I can't get to too specific and I'm not going to pull clarifiers for it because you have your own epiphany to find individually within yourselves. It's not going to... It's... 
it's not going to allow you guys to be broad enough to figure it out for your own individual selves. And that's totally okay. So let's go ahead and pull your romance angels cards for this week. See where you guys are at. What's going on? You guys got two cards. Sagittarius got two wisdom. The Oracle cards, Capricorn, you get two romance angels cards because they came out together. Very interesting. You guys have separation. Time apart from your partner is is on the horizon. But this is a temporary separation. You see, realize this is time apart. That doesn't mean it's forever. It's measurable. That's what that's what this means. The time apart that you have between this individual that you have here is measurable. Now this means this could mean that you may be in the process of separating from somebody. Or this could indicate here that whatever you have going on, maybe the separation that you have, which is explains the same man energy in a way, the separation, this period of time, the stagnancy within this relationship is coming to an end. Because this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It probably was, maybe that's what the separation is all about. Maybe the situation is that there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't something moving forward or growing be, within the relationship itself, but it will come. And you also have here, let your friends help you, which is saying ask for and accept help, accept support from others. Explains this Ten of Cups here. And the Empress of like opposing the opposite from that. If the Ten of Wands is coming up, that does indicate here that you've got a lot on your plate and you're doing it all by yourself. And maybe you didn't have to. Maybe you don't have to. Maybe you never had to. But it could have been the pride. It could have been the reason, the, the wanting, the willingness or the the definite dependent independence that you wanted to exert and prove to yourself. Either way, this is in the past now. Your burdens, your burdens of responsibilities, you trying to tackle it on your own, you know, has shown you a new direction. Let friends help you. Let people that love you help you. You do not have to do it alone. And that's perhaps the thing that's in the past that's kind of the hang-up. And two, you see there's two people in this card, not just one. He's giving the little girl flowers. How would the little girl know what perfect flowers to get her mom, and you know, lilies, if she didn't ask a flower, the little boy that worked with the flower man? She allowed this boy to help her. It's in the past now, sure. Maybe there was somebody that was trying to help you before. Maybe you're not open to the idea. Your wisdom of the oracle card is imagine. That was underneath the deck. That's crazy. And imagine is talking about taking a moment to really see and dream and manifest what it is that you want. How do you manifest? Well, part of the re part of the of the manifestation progress is the dream. You have to know what you are trying to go for before you can go after it. But that's not the stop. That's not the end game. You can pray to God and all that stuff, but if you don't do the star, which as you see here in this card here, where there is giving and putting in effort to, into what it is that directly, you know, directly builds or goes uh, directly affects, you, you know, the dream in a positive way of, uh, you know, obviously to grow it, to get what you want, then, there, then you're only doing part of the job. You're not going to, it's not going to make the factory work. But don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to connect back to the energy in which you felt happiest. Not to not to conjure up someone, because conjuring is not a good idea. You don't ever want to conjure somebody. You wouldn't want somebody to do that for you, right? To do that to you. But 
it's it's the it was it's the, it's it's the connecting with the feeling is different. You don't a feeling doesn't have a face or a person or a gender or a race or a religion or a culture. It doesn't have it. It just you just feel those things. Like you can feel love for your sister, but you can also feel love for your friend. You don't want to have sex with any of those two, and you definitely don't want to develop in a relationship any further, but you still have love for them. You can laugh the same. It's about the feeling that's important. And I feel like if you focus on how you feel, I think that will break wave to break the, the dam that the hangman is holding back. This is his ace of wands to be able to pursue the star. I'm excited for you, Capricorn, and I'm rooting for you on the sidelines. I would love an update, by the way, especially if you guys start proposing to people, because I need to know when you guys are going to get married. But I love y'all.